guys and welcome back to today's video. So today is the first day that I'm filming in my new house. I recently moved and you can probably hear the pitter patter of Finn's little feet on the floorboards. Um, so yeah, I recently moved and this is my first video in the new house and I'm kicking it off with a good one. I am doing a part two of my trying on prom dresses video because you guys loved the first one so much and I asked in that video if you want to see a part two and everybody said yes. So I've got three more dresses here. I did expect to have a few more, but for some reason they didn't arrive. I, I don't know why. I guess that's one of the dangers of buying off eBay. But the first one I'm going to try out is this one, because it's the smallest package of the three. Um, this is from Mrs. Chen from Hong Kong. I'm not sure which one this is. It did have a little slit in it. It's red. How many red ones did I order? How did you fit that in there? So this came in a size medium. So this is the first one. It looks like this. It's kind of like this. Is it off the shoulder or is it on the shoulder? I'm not, a, oh it's on the shoulder. So it's like a little lacy dress. And there's kind of bodycon material down here. I'm not sure if this will fit, but it'll be a tiny bit loose. I thought I'd get a medium just to be on the safe side. I thought getting a medium would probably be my best bet because I'm like an 8 to 10. It has like lace around the bottom and it kind of looks like a midi dress. It doesn't smell very good. It's not like glue and fish. Um, but this is the first one so let's try it on and see what I think. So this is dress number one. It does fit me because I'm a bit faster than I thought. But um, I don't like dresses this length. I don't think they look good on me. I don't think they look good on many people and my legs really need some cream on because I look like a lizard. But um, the dress just really smells like, it just smells like fish glue. Like it's really gross. Um, but it fits well, I think the stitching, I think the stitching is okay actually. It's a little bit like, you can see they've messed up in some places where it's like ruching together. I haven't actually done it straight, otherwise it would go straight. But I think it's okay. Don't wear underwear with this because you can see like the bow on the front, but I think it's, I think it's okay. The lace is a bit loose. I don't really want to turn around. My ass doesn't look good. So the next package I'm reopening is this one, and this feels kind of fluffy. Like the package feels fluffy. How do I open you? really difficult to get into. I'm worried I'm going to rip the dress. Oh! What? What? I don't remember ordering a gold dress. What? What are you? What? What the fuck? Is that the front or the back? I think this is the front? Okay. I literally didn't order this. Oh, I see what you're supposed to be. I'm going to put what this dress is supposed to look like on the screen. I think it's meant to be this one. Um, I guess. Okay. So it's got a zipper on it. Let's see if the, the zipper feels like decent quality, actually. That's pretty good zipper quality. It doesn't feel too, ch oh dear. That looks like it's going to be really short. Can you see the darker panel at the top? You can't really see it. Um, the cutoff is uneven and it's definitely, definitely not as good as it looks in the picture. The, on the picture it has like, it's like a gold sequin all the way down and this is just kind of like gold glitter. They've tried, it just kind of looks like sand and the hem is literally just raw, like it's just been like cut off, that's all it is, it's just like fabric that's been sliced in a circle. Um, the sequins feel really cheap. And I don't know what this is on the back. Like, what is this? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> this is just number two. It feels horrible. It feels like I'm wearing just a, just like hay or something. This feels really gross. And what is this length? Like, who who designed this? Like, what? It just makes you feel like you've got cankles when you don't. The back reaches the floor. This isn't a good, this is not, I'm standing on it. This isn't a good time. I'm not enjoying any of this. Look at that. What is, who, who made this? That's what I want to know. 
because I need to be held accountable for what they've done. <laughs> it's so itchy everywhere. This here, you know those clothes you'd wear as a kid, if you were like a 90s slash just born on the edge of 2000, you know those like sequin cardigans that would like itch the shit out of you. It feels like that. It's horrible. This is evil. I think I get that one done. So now for the last package, which is this one. I wonder what this one is. So open it up. Oh, this one looks like it's got potential. Which one is it? I've got this one in a size medium too. This looks like it has potential, guys. Have a look. So I think I know how much this one was. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, but the sequin is kind of like a little ruffle at the top and then it just goes to chiffon. Can you guys see that? I don't even, you can kind of see. This material here has like sequins on it and then this, it's just like a cut off. Like what is that? There's loose fabric at the back. Like there's just a string at the back. Um, the sequins at the top aren't that bad. It's got a stretchy band, so I guess it would stay up. It's got boob pads, which is pretty good. The zipper, the zipper works okay, but it is a sequin dress, and I know a lot of things with sequins on can be really difficult to put a zipper on. But yeah, I'm gonna put on the screen what this one's supposed to look like, and also the price of it. And now let's try it on and see what I think. And this is, I don't know what number dress this is, but it's, you can see what it is. Um, it's not that bad. It doesn't feel itchy, which is good because it's got the sequins on it. The thing is, this is like, why is it here? Like, one, it pushes out. None of these dresses actually suck you in at the waist, so they just make you look a little bit tubby. So, I don't know why they do that. And also, this is just like, what? If you bought this, you could literally just, netting's really easy to cut across. If you cut really close to the stitching, you could just get rid of it without like anybody noticing. And to be honest, if you put that like that and imagine the belt back around it, this doesn't look that bad as a dress, especially considering it was like probably like 12 pounds or something. But it reaches the floor, that's fine. If you wanted to give it some more volume, you, can, you could get like a petticoat to make it go out slightly and that'd add to it, but definitely get rid of this. The zip was a little bit stiff, but it went up, and I think it's holding itself. You can't see my bra now, I don't think. So it's holding itself up, which is good. I don't really feel like it's gonna move too much, a little bit, but it's okay. Oh, it is see-through, but it was like 10 pounds, so you can't mount. Just wear a slip. But I think this one, the red one's the best. This one's the second best, so. So that was it for today's video. Let me know which dress you like the best. If you guys want links to any of these dresses or where I bought them from, I will try and remember to put them in the description, but you guys know I'm awful with adding links in the description. I do have a few more dresses that I'm hoping turn up, so if you'd like to see them, then definitely follow me on Instagram. I'll put my socials on the screen somewhere. If you want to see those dresses as well, then be sure to follow me on Instagram, but they haven't arrived yet and I can't wait any longer. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And do let me know in the comments what videos you'd like to see from me in the future. With all that said, I'll see you guys soon. I love you so much. Bye!